guys, welcome to another item in production. My name is Tech009, and today we're going to show you how to replace the fixing film and the pressure roller on a fuser unit for the following Canon machines Image Runner Advanced C5030, C5035, C5045, and C5051. I have included links for the part numbers in the description. You might have to change the fixing film and the pressure roller if you're getting any of the following error codes on the screen. Make sure there's no paper or foreign objects stuck inside the fuser unit. Alright guys, if you just remove the fuser, the fuser will be hot. So give it 5 to 10 minutes so it could cool down. Alright, let's start by unplugging all the harnesses on top of the fuser. Now carefully running the wires all around the fuser. Now let's remove the four screws and carefully lift up the top cover. Before taking it off, lift it up a little bit and practice putting it back in place so it is easier for you to remember how the top cover is removed and placed back into position properly. If you need the whole fuser unit assembly, new or refurb, give us a call to make sure we have it in stock for same day delivery. I have also added a link in the description area below. All right, now we're going to remove the two metal pressure release brackets on the side that are holding the fixing film roller in place. Lift up the pressure release bracket. Now let's disconnect the fixing film assembly before removing it. All right, now let's disconnect the fixing film assembly from the fuser unit. There is a black connector that needs to be unplugged and then run all the wires to the middle of the fuser unit. Turn the fuser unit to the other side to disconnect the rest of the harness. Now let's unscrew the ground cable and release the other black connector from the other side. Now all you have to do is just lift up the fixing film assembly up. Now let's remove the fixing entrance guide. It is held in place by one screw and one security tab. Careful when removing the security tab. It is very fragile. All right, to remove that fixing entrance guide, you wanna put in a flathead right here and then slide it to your right. Now let's remove the pressure roller. Start off by removing the C-clip on the gear. Save the C-clip. Now push the plastic bearings to the side. 
and that should release the pressure roller. Now lift up and don't forget to save the plastic bearings for the new pressure roller. All right, now let's put the fuser back together. We're going to start by putting the bearings and the gear assembly back in place. Once the bearings and the gear are in place, we're going to line up the pressure roll in the position with the metal frame. Once everything is installed and locked in, don't forget to put the C-clip back on the gear. Now what you want to do is rotate the gear and make sure everything is running smoothly. If you still don't know how to line it up, I have included a little bit of more footage coming up next. Now time to put the film assembly in place. Now insert the guide into the film assembly. Only the aftermarket brings the guide. The OEM will not bring it, so you will have to use your old one. Start by removing the two metal clips. Now you will answer the guide in here. We will also include instructions on how to do this. Once you have answered the guide properly in place, you will now have to lock it back in position with the metal clips. Now let's insert the film assembly back in place. Remove the protective plastic to put in the film assembly back in place. There are two little knobs on the film assembly. They should be facing up. There should be two more on the other side. Also, this plastic notch should guide you right in position in the metal frame. Once you have put the film assembly in place, you can rotate the pressure roll gear and everything should rotate smoothly.
Now let's connect the film assembly back in place. Start on this side. Plug back the black connector. Now you want to give it a little tug to make sure that all the cables are connected in place properly. Now let's screw the black ground cable back in place. Now, back on the other side, guys, start with connecting the black cable. Make sure that the cables are out of the way, and you might have to lift the film assembly a little bit to install the connector. Make sure it's locked in place. Now we can lock the pressure release bracket on both sides. Hand tight will be alright. You should be able to press the bracket down without much force. That will allow you to screw it in place. If for some reason you aren't allowed, make sure that the rollers are all set in place and try again. You have to make sure the film is set in properly. Alright, now let's do it for the other side guys. Same process. Now let's put the entrance guy back in place. You should be able to see the plastic notches that go into the metal frame. Once you put the plastic notches in, slide the guide to the left and it will lock in place. Now insert the screw in to secure the whole guide. Alright, let's double check everything. Make sure you have connected everything in place and you have run the harnesses along the side of the fuser before we put the top cover on. To put the top cover, you will have to line up the four metal notches on the fuser to the top cover. Also, line up the screws, press down carefully. You might have to play with it a little bit until the cover locks in place, then add the screws. Once you hear the top cover snap into place, now we will add the screws. Alright, now that we have added the screws, let's begin working on the harness. Now let's connect the harness back in place. You will have to run the harness along the plastic cover to connect the harness properly.
After connecting the harness, you can check the fuser unit rotating gears and open the front flap to make sure nothing is getting stuck or grinding. Hey guys, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe so we can add more videos. Leave a comment below, tell your friends and strangers. If you have any questions, visit our website or give us a call. I have added the links below.